James Gurney here. The big Belgian draft horses are in their paddock. And if I lean on the rail, I can do a sketch in gouache and watercolor. They come over to check me out. I put a flake of hay in the middle of the paddock so that they would stand there posing for me and I draw quickly the silhouette and I just want to use a dark tone for the shadow here. You can see that I've already painted an overall light background tone and even a little bit of tone for the light side but now I want to dramatize the contrast between light and shadow. So I'm painting the shadow a little darker than it appears, but I can always lighten it if I need to using gouache. I'll also need to soften the edge from the light side to the shadow side. It's not a hard edge like I've shown it, but actually the fur creates a soft edge. And I think I can suggest that with a dry brush effect. So I splay out the, the bristles of the brush and using drier paint, I lightly drag that over to get a soft edge. Now my subject is out of position, but I can still look at the comparative values and I can reconstruct what I remember of the pose. The underside of the belly is lighter and warmer than I first painted it because it's getting the warm light bouncing up from the ground and it's also lighter and warmer in local color or the actual color of the skin or the fur is lighter. Now I'm drawing the feet going down to the pasterns and the fetlock, the hoof itself the bottom. Now the ground is rough with dirt clods and dung and I can suggest that by just dragging a very dry brush over the surface to get that texture. Now our subject is moving around, having finished the hay that I left there. But I can draw the shadow in, the cast shadow, which makes it clear this is a backlit subject. And I can also place a few details like the eyes and the, the nose. And here I'm using a fairly small round brush and just dropping in little shapes. Oh no, don't, that's, that's wet paint. Oh, you gotta move. With a painting like this, I'm not attempting anything that complex, just doing a quick sketch during my morning walk, maybe a half an hour total. But it's a painting in miniature. I'm making all the same decisions I might make in a larger painting, but this is just one part in my daily sketchbook. If you follow me on YouTube, you'll love my more in-depth tutorials. I have one on painting animals from life, which follows the painting of a dog and a horse from start to finish. Okay, thanks for watching. You might wanna check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.